What's up guys, this is Chris here, and today is a real good day. Today we're out in the rain, and I'll tell you why. Because I literally cannot wait to shoot this gun. Today we have a gun that I've wanted to shoot for so long. A company called Korth makes a couple of revolvers here that look pretty sweet. And this one in particular, I've had my eye on for some time. Korth is, I'm not sure if it's a subsidiary to Nighthawk, I'm not sure if Nighthawk owns them, but I think they're well known throughout the revolver industry to make the best revolvers in the world, or at least some of the best revolvers in the world. And this Korth NX8 was handpicked by me for the review, and I chose the six inch barreled 357 Magnum eight shot. Not only does this uh, have pristine parts, it is hand fitted, it is all customed out the way you'd want it to, but it has a amazing sight radius. We have a fluted barrel, so fluted that it's barely there. <laughs> we have a Picatinny rail at the bottom and the top and on top of the receiver as well. In case you want to run three red dots and a light, you can do that. And uh, we have an RMR in here simply because I've never had an RMR in a revolver before. My wife is like, well, why don't you shoot it iron sights so you can show how good the iron sights are. And I'm like, no. Let's go, let's go pile a, a red dot on there just because red dot revolvers are very uncommon and I did want to try this out today. So as I said, we have a six inch cold hammer forged barrel, a double single action trigger, uh, integrated Picatinny rail, fully adjustable front and rear sight. We actually are very, very excited to shoot this and I think this could possibly be the best revolver in the world. Now, not only do they make six round, seven round versions, all kinds of other stuff, but you can get it in four and two inch and all that stuff if you want to do that as well. It also comes with a wood grip here that says Korth right on it, and this is more of a target grip, and this is more of a target style revolver or a home defense style revolver. This would be a bang and home defense gun as well. So we're gonna shoot this up close fast. We're gonna shoot at a distance and just kind of see what the limit of revolver shooting I'm capable of today. Now, before we get into the video, I do want to mention we did once again partner with GetEnterToWin.com to give you guys this badass revolver. If you want a shot at getting into this, all you have to do is go to the link in a pinned comment and it'll bring you right to the page. Sign up. We're very excited to give you this because this is extremely expensive. These are extremely rare. And on these giveaway videos, I try to give you the absolute best firearm possible. That way, if you enter, it'll be worth your time. Okay, sugar. All right, now let's go through some of the controls on this bad boy. So first we have double single action here. So you can see double action is super smooth. This is the reset on the double. Oh, I overstrung it already. Reset on the double, boom. Now one important thing is to master the reset on a double action revolver, because if you go too short, you can short stroke it and it won't work. So if you want to shoot real, real fast, you have to make sure to let all the way off and come back on. Then we have our single action, which is very, very nice. Oh my God, that's like a two pound trigger. This is how we release our cylinder right here. Pop it out. You can see eight shots of 357 Magnum. Pretty good. Let's check it out. Let's load it and we'll uh, pattern it. I'm gonna zero the RMR here. Now this is the way I like to load a revolver. I had a lot of comments on the last video, but I did straight up steal this technique from Jerry Michalek. And I guess if you don't like this, you can take it up with him or maybe I'm doing it wrong. That's also possible. But the idea is to steal from the grates. All right, let's pattern it and try it out. I'm excited, I'm like a little kid in a candy store. I've always wanted to shoot one of these. I feel your energy. All right, dot's way too high. It's really dull out today. Probably zero in single action. All right, so pretty good groups, not where we want it, but luckily we're rocking a Trigicon RMR, not a hollow sun, so we can just use a bullet. All right. Well, I was shooting some pretty small groups there toward the end at the uh, uh, paper, so I figured 
why not just jump right back to 50 yards and just see if we can get some pings. Because I, I don't know, I just feel like this thing's probably one of the most mechanically accurate guns I've ever shot. So I think it's, you know, it should be relatively easy at 50. I was not wrong. Eight for eight at 50. That's what we like. This is gonna be a good time. All right, back at 75. Yeah, so just try our luck out here. Hopefully we have the right zero. I mean, that's double action at 75. And yeah, like, that's ridiculous. I'm not even used to the gun yet. So, as far as accuracy goes, holy shit. <laughs> All right, talk about pushing your luck. Tired, raining, but we got a very expensive revolver, so why not 100 yard it, right? Why not? You gonna shoot it at 100 yeah. yards? Me? Yeah. Oh, probably not. No? Not the first time. Single so easy, the trigger's so nice. Oh, I threw that one, I saw that. Talking shit. Threw that one low, it's heavy. That's it. So Pretty far, accurate. so good. Yeah. All right, the sun's coming out a little bit. Yeah, it is. Should we see how this old pig uh, home defends? Yeah, sure. Ooh, we gotta turn the dot up. We got him, though. Getting a little dirty. Maybe I'm not hitting the ejector hard enough that's what she said anyway <laughs> sometimes you gotta hit it hard sometimes you gotta hit it hard even if it takes throwing the back out oh brother old man problems <laughs> If you don't get him with those eight, you can just throw it at him. It's heavy. It would work. <laughs> it would work. All right, no big deal. 50 ounce, 357 Magnum. I could probably shoot that left-handed. Try it. We'll try her out, Jamie Lannister. Oh, I felt like a rock star there. Channel on my inner Jerry Michalek. All right, boo, what's she gonna do? Oh, who knows? Try the dueling tree, maybe? Okay. Oh, I missed the last one. Oh, dang it. Speed reloading with revolver that I don't know which way the cylinder goes. Oh. Well, sometimes Colts go one way, yep. but I think this guy goes this way. Yep, it does. There we go. That is a beautiful gun. Man, this thing kicks so much ass. I mean, as far as revolvers go, I think this is pretty close to what you can get. Like, I know they're like uh, very, very expensive, but sometimes you get what you pay for. And in this case, it seems like you do. That was four different targets. That was. Moves quick for an old boy. We're at about a buck 25 here. And I did want to mention that we did shoot a little bit more than we normally do through this. And that will be on uh, my new uh, Twitter that I just created today. So if you want to follow me over there, it's Honest Outlaw underscore nothing. Just Honest Outlaw underscore on Twitter. We moved over there because Instagram doesn't like me anymore. 
for being in my content, so I'd appreciate you following me. Miss. Miss. Might be a drop thing. It was a drop thing. Aim for his head. Here we go. I'll take the last two. Two out of four, that's not bad. Once I got my dope, it's so funny saying that with a handgun, but once I got my drop, hits on the money. Well, I'd say that's probably the second most fun you can have in a rainstorm, if you know what I mean. But I gotta tell you that this is quite the gun. I'm a big fan of the way it looks. First off, I was happy with that. I would have been happy with the way it looked just if that's all it had. It's probably the coolest looking revolver I've ever gotten. It looks like fucking RoboCop should carry this. Uh, it looks like a mix between Space Cowboy and, I don't know, it looks like some shit you'd see in a cartoon, to be honest with you. But eight shots of 357 Magnum is an amazing capacity for a revolver. Eight shots of a very, very potent caliber is more than enough uh, to drop most threats in North America, that's for sure. Quartz also makes 44 Magnums. Uh, I'm not sure if they make one of this. I think 44 Mag is uh, limited to only six rounds, whereas 357 you can get eight. And I think for the capacity difference, I'm going with eight. Um, it's like 25% more, so I'll take that. Uh, ooh, mass not my strong suit. Picatinny rail, we didn't test this, but we are gonna put, I, I swear, I'm gonna put a Surefire Scout on this at some point <laughs> and see if that works. And then uh, we're gonna be running the RMR through the review. The release for the cylinder is very, very cool. I initially would kind of miss my uh, Smith & Wesson release, but this thing is pretty awesome. Uh, the trigger itself is incredible. Uh, I can ghost it for you one more time, because it's easy to do on a revolver. Then a single action, whoop. It's very, very nice. Uh, cylinder didn't really get hot through the entire course of the fire. Uh, the gun didn't get super gunky, even though we shot 150 rounds through it. Uh, maybe the only gripe I'd have is there's not a lot of texture on the target grip, but obviously you can get different grips if you want. Um, overall, I think it was spectacular so far. I'm excited I chose this for the giveaway gun, and I really, really am excited for whoever gets this. Uh, we're going to shoot quite a few rounds for this over the course of the next few weeks, and we should have a full thousand round review for you guys. Now, one thing you have to remember that if you're going to go out and try to buy one of these, the MSRP on this is about 5200 so it's going to be one of the most expensive revolvers you can buy, and is it worth it? That's entirely up to you. If you're a serious revolver, shooter, if you compete in revolver division, or if you just have a good bit of money and you want something freaking beautiful, this is a real good way to go. Everything on this is pristine. The controls right out of the box are super slicked up. There's no need for a break-in period or anything like that. The coating is absolutely fantastic. The milling's excellent. Uh, you get a fucking cold hammer forge barrel, which is obviously very accurate, considering we can hit at distances of 130 even when I'm shooting like shit. I can't wait to see what we're going to be capable of doing uh, when I bring Nick out here and we start shooting and shooting and shooting this bad boy for the thousand round review so hopefully that video will be awesome we'll be able to show off a little better than i could today and uh we'll have to brush up on my revolver shooting and we'll do a full thousand round review for you so if you want to see that let me know in the comment section below if you're excited about this revolver let me know in the comment section below again i'd really appreciate it if you follow me on twitter and i do want to give thanks to my patreon supporters because i did in the beginning of the video i forgot but you guys bought uh the 38 special we used for this video and the 357 we used for this video so i appreciate that uh links for everything in the description below giveaway pin comment if you like this video please like and subscribe please stop by our local homeless shelters and remember to recycle i'll check you later